guys, in today's video we're gonna do a twist on the tequila sunrise. So what you're gonna be needing, a cup of ice, um, a spoon, a measuring cup, um, shaker as well, tequila, blue carousel, instead of grenadine, we're gonna be using this, uh, and some orange juice. So let's get started. So firstly, we're gonna need, we're going to use the tequila, and we're gonna use One big side look, that's fine. Next, we're going to use the blue curse. We're going to give it a good shake. Take the lid off, and then we're going to start pouring. So, what you're going to do, you're only going to fill it up halfway because we do have to put the orange juice in there to give it that green color. That should be good. Alrighty. Let's put the orange in. Okay. So it starts to get that green color. So this is where the spoon comes in and we're just gonna mix it a little bit just to give it no hints of blue at all. So it's just straight green. And there you have it, an emerald sunrise. Yeah, that's good. All right, guys, welcome back. And of course, you already know what color we're doing next green. So in this video we are going to be doing this look that is inspired by the emerald sunrise. So if you want to achieve this, then keep on watching. All right guys, y'all already know the drill. We have one side of our face done, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the other. So first, we're gonna start off with that cream base. So today we're gonna be using the James Charles palette, like always. We're gonna go in with this cream color up here. Okay, next we're gonna go in with this color here, and we're just gonna apply that for our transition color. Now we're gonna go in with this green color and I believe it's called Daddy. And we are going to put that in the outer corner, leaving a gap in the middle and then going into the inner corner. All right, and we're just gonna drag that out just a bit. Okay, now we're gonna take a little bit of concealer and we are going to apply that to that open space. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and we're going to be using Telepathy. It's almost like this gold um, lime green color and we're gonna pat that on top. I like to use my fingers because it likes it it warms up the product a little bit and then I'll go back in with the brush and I'll even it out now we're gonna blend out those edges and we're gonna go back in with that green brush but with no extra product so we're just gonna um, blend out those edges. Now we're gonna place the cream color that we used as our base on our brow bone.
Okay, just get a uh, clean fluffy brush and blend out those edges. For our inner corner, we're going to go in with Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. And it's going to give us that nice yellowy pop that we need. Now we're going to add some black liner on our lash line and we're just going to keep it straight to hide the lash band. Now we're going to apply some mascara to our top lashes. And today we're going to be using the Flirty Lashes from Kiss. And you want to give your lashes a good squeeze. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use the same green that we used on the top for our lower lashes. We're going to go in with the NYX Wonder Pencil and we're going to apply that to our waterline. Now we're going to apply some mascara to our lower lashes. Next we're going to go in with the Essence Lip Liner in Lost in Love and we're going to apply that to our lips. But first let's clean them off. Next we're going to go in with the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss and Seriously. Alright, and to finish this look we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of highlight to our Cupid's bow and our nose area. Right, guys this is our final look of course the inspiration behind this was the emerald sunrise if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you on the next one bye